Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of appropriate ages, I am Bruce, aka Haunted Husband, and welcome to Jack and Hat. Now if this is your first time, or your hunt time on my channel, hit the subscribe button, won't you? By subscribing, you'll be notified when my videos go live daily. I cover a lot of indie games, any demos, and great content like this mean developers. So if you're in all things indie, you found your home, smash the subscribe button right now. So you may be wondering, what exactly is Jack and Hat? Well, the sinister Dr. Voodoo has kidnapped the princess of Riri Land inside the Civil War. It's up to repairman extraordinaire Jack in his boomerang hat to save her and restore peace. Jump through 20 plus huge levels, collecting crystals, stars, and more. Can you save Riri Land? I assume that's how it's pronounced. It's R I R I L A N D. I'm just gonna call it Rland from now on. It's makes me feel a little bit safer about what I'm saying. Uh, this has mostly positive reviews on Steam. And in the description below, you'll find a link to the Steam page where you can pick this up for yourself for $8 USD. Now, if that's not in your price range at the moment, just definitely make sure you wishlist it to be notified if it goes on sale in the future. This is developed by Cross Game Studio and published by Two Awesome Studio. Two Awesome Studio, that sounds very familiar. Hold on a second. Have I covered something with them before? No, but I know where I know them from. They do, um, AK Oxotl. That's how I know them, okay. This is a side-scrolling uh, 2D platformer collection as well. Um, I'm very curious about this. Uh, developer publisher sent me a Steam key for this to review and play for you so I'm a big platformer I'm a big pixel fan as well it's controller supported which I love so without further ado let's jump right into it uh, we'll go with martyr mode I think that helps you off the game a lot more than retro mode it was another quiet day in the kingdom of Arlen Thanks to the inventions of the brilliant scientist Dr. Expo, Zycon, the capital city had reached new heights of prosperity. The royal family, along with a court comprised of the kingdom's brightest minds, ruled over this prosperous land with wisdom and compassion. But they were without but they were not without enemies. That's some good music right there. I want this to be my villain music. Out of nowhere, the face of a sinister man appeared on every screen in the city. Since in our land, I, the great Dr. Voodoo, have come to free you from the shackles of the monarchy. Foolish king, behold, with my magic I'm taking your daughter away. Surrender the kingdom to me, or she will suffer. And to every slave of the monarchy trying to resist us, know that my forces are ready for you. The evil doctor had spread awful lies about the king and along with other dastardly tricks, managed to bring some citizens to his side. The music's going hard. A civil war was about to start. Meanwhile, at Dr. Expo's lab, Doctor, we gotta find a way to resist. Sorry, the music's going so hard. Uh, don't worry, Nico. I have a plan. According to our data, Dr. Vu has a secret base on the moon. I'm sure that's where he's holding the princess. But, Doctor, how are we going to get there? Hmm. We could use our secret project, the, the Warper. My brain's broken, sorry. The Warper. But we don't have enough energy for a moon trip. True, we'll need energy crystals. But Doctor, neither of us is strong enough for this. Energy crystals are scattered all over the world. Hmm, Nico. I think I know the right person for the job. It's a jack of all trades for any job. Huh? Jack, the jack of all trades repairman? How can he help us? Trust me, Nico. This young man can do amazing things. No comment. 
I heard him fix the tiling on my garage once. When I came back, he had turned the garage into a luxury pad. Well, I'll call him right away. Jack, I'm glad you got here safely. We need your help. You're the only one who can save the princess and end this nightmare. This is my latest invention, the Expo Hat. You can use it as a boomerang type weapon. You can even stick to enemies and bring them to you. Now, regarding your mission, you must use our Warper machine to travel the world and collect 20 power crystals. With their energy, we'll be able to transport you to Voo Doom's secret base on the moon. That's where Doom is holding the princess. We're counting on you, Jack. And so, Jack's adventure across Rayland begins. Man, this guy showed him to fix like a pipe or something. He thought he was coming over to do like uh, some tile work, maybe fix some stucco, some drywall. Sorry, my dude. Gotta go save the world. Jack, you made it. This is a warper machine. The plan was to use it for mass transportation, but the energy needed was just too much. We'll use it to save the kingdom instead. Send on one of the pads and press up to warp to that location. If you need to save, activate one of the computers like this one. I'll take care of it for you. Good luck! That's Green Green Plains. That's Caved In. Under the Moonlight. Snow No. Yes, go ahead and save it. Why not? Uh, slot 1. Alright, game saved. Let's start with like the most vanilla level possible. Did he get nuked? So it's a little Mario. I definitely get the Mega Man vibes from um, from the World Select and the. Uh... Wow, yeah, I got more health than I thought you. Ooh, sorry about that. Definitely get some Mega Man vibes from uh, Dr. Expo, Dr. Voodoo. I'm not sure if we need all these uh, yellow crystals, but I'm going to get them all in the way. Ooh-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. that is. Um, Mip stores your health by one heart. Use it from your inventory by pressing... I guess that's the left bumper. Alright, that's... Was not expecting that. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hmm. I wonder how I get up there. I made this worse for myself. So far, so good.
of course. Oh, okay. That works. Um, oops. You can't see it because my big head's blocking it, but I'm getting a ton of achievements. Looks like almost every enemy has two health. Guess we'll go. Break over a sick number of crates to receive a special gem. Press Y to check the requirement number. So I need 100 crates. I mean, we're over halfway there. Make sure there's no secrets up there. Alright, let's get this right. There we go. I can reach those. Get out of here. Don't forget to get the levels, energy crystals. If you don't, you have to report the repeat the level. Still need like 22 more boxes, huh? What did you do? That stinky, uh... I guess it was a bird. Set off that TNT block. I didn't wasn't ready for that. I wonder if there's just exactly a hundred boxes on each stage. Guess not. Ooh. It's kind of Crash Bandicoot as well. Um, oh. Wasn't expecting him to get bodied over me like that. I'm not a big fan of hitting him from behind and they come flying at me. Let's go. I can jump on him too? Okay, that works. Get yeeted.
So far, so good. So every time you jump, he uh, ducks down. I guess I missed the C. I mean the J. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. I didn't think I was going to make it in time. Got to take care of this bird real quick. I thought that he was gone. I thought he got yeeted off the platform. I'm smart. I just missed the J. And I'm pretty sure I know where the J was too, so. Get out of here. A little off sync, but is he winking? Yeah, he's winking at us. <clears throat> That'd have been a flawless level if it had been for that that uh, quirky TNT block that decided to blow up in our face. I wonder if there's like a a double jump or something. So ten of those gems, ten stars. So we're gonna do a caved in. Let's do under the moonlight. I'm ready for a, a snow level, which probably means it's an ice level, so. Just a little bit faster. up there nope all the music is really good in this game so the enemy over there right Um, he's got three health. Wow. In the up there, secret J, maybe? Nope.
these tin can snake worms. Just in case, it better be safe than sorry. You need a master key to unlock this door. What? After I perfectly played that, let's get a little more on the edge. Where do we get the master key from? All right, now we're vine grabbing. Sweet. Get out of here. Well, that didn't work in my favor. Whoa. And hey, you can't find your weapon off the vine, so that's something you have to take into account. Whoa. Another new enemy type, nice. Just keep him coming. Can I No, okay. I was trying to do a side vine crawl block jump. if this is the right way or not. Wow, that down path is super dangerous. I missed the J again? I mean, I might as well pass up all these free heals. That I don't know what I'm going to do about. Can I jump on him? I'm gonna take that bottom bath too. I think me and him both collided at the same time with a box, causing it to explode. Mm. 
I don't know why I'm gonna get that bottom pass so bad, but I do. I mean, I'm just curious what's down there. Okay. I feel slightly cheated, but okay. It's just not going to work. It's just the way it's set up. So I'd have to run all the way that direction. Which I'm not above doing. Look out, he's got a gun! I know this is counterproductive to the progress, but... I gotta know. I think the bottom is the harder path, too. He's just slid right off of it. All right, let's see what this bottom path is all about. Not so bad so far. Until you just walk off the edge like a, a dummy. Alright, we don't have to. We know. We now know. Go here. I figured there'd be something up there. Still got a long way to go in the box. I was not expecting a guy with a gun. He won't go over. So far, so good. That ricochet on the enemies is kind of... I forgot that he's a... a jumpy boy. Is there a reason to get on top of you? 
No, I don't see any. I'm sure there's probably a letter in that package over there. No? Okay. It's route about one, but... He said he was too good to jump on the vine. Jeez. I don't know what collecting all these coins do. I guess if you play uh, retro mode, like for every hundred you collect, you probably get like an extra life or something. Once again, he didn't grab the vine as I jumped past it. Interesting. It must be much a harder press. Come on, come on. Well, I'm definitely going down because I see that box. Well, I missed the C as well, huh? Do I get to retain that or. I do not. Reverse engineer this real quick. Jerk. All right, now it's smooth sailing. was between a TNT block and a hard place. Just kept on going. Patience. Slowly watching a man descend into insanity. Not to worry about you. I mean, there's no reason to come back and kill him. Other than it was just personal.
Put on you away. I mean, why would you go that way? You could just go around. I'm trying to think of where I missed a massive pile of boxes, because that's a lot to miss. So do you have to beat all four levels to fight a boss? Save machine. Not sure where you get stars from. It's also a save machine. So I guess you have to be four worlds to fight a boss. But that's gonna do it for our look at Jack and Hat. It's very interesting. Uh, the controls are very tight. Like, it's not very uh, icy, if that makes any sense, and it's not very floaty with a jump. It's very precise. I mean, it's your classic uh, platformer with hints of, like, Mario, Crash Bandicoot with the crate collection, the TNT crates, a little bit Mega Man as well. Um, highly enjoyable. Highly recommend it. Once again, in the description below, you'll find a link to the Steam page where you can pick this up for yourself for $8.00. If you can't swing that right now, make, definitely make sure you wishlist it to be notified in the future of when it goes on sale. Just again, big thank you to Cross Game Studio and to Awesome Studio for the code to review and play this. It's been a lot of fun. I will definitely be coming back to this and more in the future. And if you like, enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe as always. By doing so, it helps me with the YouTube algorithm. If you watch and you like, they show it to more people, so forth and so on. Plus, it lets me know I'm doing a good job. Who doesn't like to know that? I'll be back at it again tomorrow with more indie games, indie demos, great content like this from developers. Until then, my hat enthusiast, I'll haunt you later.